Sky Pink. Somehow I think that it will be too windy tonight to use. You can hear the clomp, clomp, clomping around of Sue running back out of the way. <laughs> Somehow I think tonight it's gonna to be a little bit too windy to use the telescope, but it'll be set up and ready to go. It, uh, once Polaris comes out, then I can get that balanced. But if I look back here, that is Nikon Z9. And if I only get one sunset, sunset shot, that'll be okay. It's actually really, really cold right now. It's absolutely beautiful out there. I have the Hero 10 over there getting a lap, so. Let's see what we can get with the Z9. It has now been two days. It's, uh, what is it, Wednesday night? I returned it Monday night. I shot and I shot with that. And the reason I'm recording this as an outro now is I just got so caught up in shooting I forgot to record something. That was awesome. A sunset, it was windy out there like it is here tonight so I'm not setting anything up even though I was going to. It wasn't so bad tucked here in the corner outside our driveway or in the driveway outside the garage wasn't too, too bad. I would love to have had a whole night's worth of data on that. Converting everything to DNGs because Deep Sky Stacker does not recognize those raw files. I don't know if I lose something going between the two, I have no idea, but that's the way I got it to work. Cool thing about being here instead of being out there is at home, I can have a glass of scotch and I like that. So the next morning after the sunrise, we walked around the lagoon, but because of the wind, there wasn't as much to shoot, got what we could. We shot there for a little bit. Oh, and the waves as they would crash and the spray would blow everywhere. That was really, really cool. It was just fun to be out with that camera and having looked back on it now, and even though I don't, I haven't given my final assessment. I've been waiting till the end. That was an amazing camera. It really, really was. I loved shooting that camera. I wish they had come out with that two or three years earlier. I do, but it, it's, it's stunning. Anyway, so we left there looking for something else to really get into shooting. We went to uh, King Gillette, and the only thing at King Gillette Ranch, they had ducks. The pond was so stagnant, it smelled so bad. I got a couple of ducks. I then went to Sepulveda Basin after that for a couple more shots.
there's always something to shoot. I'm going out tomorrow with the Nikon D800 and probably the 500 F4. I just, I love the two together. But I had to have an outro for this, so I came outside here hoping that the wind would have died down enough to set the telescope up and put the R4 on that one. There's always tomorrow night, right? Johnny Pink, I want to say thank you to everyone for watching. You guys have a fantastic day, fantastic evening, night, whatever it is you're going to do. I'll see you out there. Nikon Z9. Man. <laughs> oh, what a phenomenal camera. And it was really cool, although I'm talking, I know I talked about it. You haven't seen that video yet because I haven't put it together, but it's in the other one where I went back over to the, uh, the uh, Kenneth Hahn State Park and was shooting again hummingbirds with the R5 and the 500 F4 and the Nikon Z9 and the my Nikon F4. And that was the 500 F4. Man, that, that was just so much fun. I'm looking forward to getting into that, but I have been editing editing and editing and my editing computer I have another one on the way because that one is anyway, that's another story for another time Johnny Pink you guys have a fantastic day out there whatever it is you're gonna do I'll see you out there on the road I'm just gonna stand here and fade on and be talking because well it's dark and you won't see anything but darkness we'll see you guys